Hi guys, Helen here, and we are continuing with the Dawn God walkthrough. Uh, we are still on the quest. We are trying to find Serana's mother. We are in this creepy ass dungeon, castle, whatever you want to call it, um, where essentially there are a lot of gargoyles. So we're having a ball. The easiest way to actually kill these gargoyles is just to be in vampire lord form and just claw the crap out of them. So I'm going to go with that plan of action until we actually find Serana's mother. Let us continue. I wish I had that bloody torch. I can't believe I dropped it. Mm, nothing exciting. What is that? That is ugly. Ugly. Mm, nothing here. I think it's. I think one of the reasons why I really enjoy playing this game um, is, I know it's probably sounding a bit geeky, but you do really get immersed into it, and you do sort of convince yourself that you're in it at some degree. Obviously, you know, you don't then go out into the big wide world and think that you can cast spells, and you know that you're in the Middle Ages or something, but. Um, I think that's the beauty of this game is it's so rich in storyline and so just beautiful and meticulous in terms of the detail of the places that you have to travel through. You know, God, I want years obviously it took to develop this. Um, and I think it is better than Oblivion. Uh, I can't formulate ideas as to why at the moment, but I, I do think it is, if not just as good, better than Oblivion. Um, I can't remember what the DLC was for Oblivion though. Is it Shuddering, Shuddering Isles or something like that? I remember thinking that wasn't that good. I might have another play of that. Um, so yeah, just out of interest, um, how do you think? Skyrim and this Dawnguard DLC compares to uh, the other Elder Scrolls games and other Elder Scrolls DLCs that you've played. I don't think we've reached the top yet. There's like some kind of secret passage around here. I want to be able to enthrall a gargoyle. That's so cool. I know that one of the when you level up on the vampire um, chain, I think you can actually summon a gargoyle. Right, saying I need to go this way. How do I continue? There's a lot of empty wine bowls. Someone has been having a party, but has been very good and tied it up and just put the bowls on the shelves. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's got to be a way around it. Um, I'm not sure. And because I can't see anything, because I dropped that bloody torch. I don't know. Right, let's use some fire to uh, to see where we go. I need to buy a spell to cast light. Oh, oh, that's a bit glitchy. Right, we have been here, so that's a fail. We're getting close. Sure. Yes, but how do we get there, Serana? <laughs> like such a dumbass, just <laughs> casting the fire spell into the corners of a room. Are you gonna come alive? Hmm. Let's go back over to the fireplace. Do I set the f create a fire? Is that doing anything? No. 
Mm, something around the fire? Crawl into the fire? Oh, there you go. Turn the candlestick. She was, she was classy, your mum. Good choice. Dun dun dun! Ooh. So we're in a massive room. Uh, with mammoth skull. To be oh. it. I knew that looks a bit creepy. I mean, she taught me everything I know. But I had no idea she had a setup like this. Look at all this. She must have spent years collecting these components. And what's this thing? I'm not sure about this circle, but it's obviously something. Let's take a look around. There has to be something here that tells us where she's gone. My mother was meticulous about her research. If we can find her notes, there might be some hints in there. Well, let's look for bookshelves then if we're looking for notes. Oh, the gargoyle died. I ever saw. My mother had a bit of a thing for magical constructs. Not. Not what you're thinking. She just found them fascinating. I had no idea her laboratory even existed. She had an alchemy set up in her drawing room, but nothing that even comes close to what's here. Looking at the equipment and materials, it looks like she was trying to advance her necromancy. I don't know. Certainly not longevity. Kind of a waste of time for a vampire. I remember she used to keep a small journal. See if you can dig it up. Oh, poor gargoyle. What we got here then? Lots of bones, lots of skulls. No. All right, let's go over here. Otherwise, we'll just look through some books to see if we can level up. Anything on here? Nope. Ah, oh, pretty. Okay. Oh, there's loads of stuff to take. Go crazy, let's just take it all. Soul gem shards. Mm, no. Let's get rid of some stuff.
So this room really is brilliant if you're into your alchemy. Um, because obviously it seems to be that there is every possible flower, root, etc. that you could possibly uh, collect in Skyrim, so that is brilliant. Like I said before, I'm a bit rubbish on my alchemy. I really should create more poems. Poems? <laughs> yeah, more poetry. Um, more potions, especially obviously if now I've been got access to pretty much every ingredient that there is. That's awesome. I, I don't know. What can you make with moonstone ore? Let's get rid of this whole gem. Speaking of iron, if you would like to know the location of a lot of free iron that you could either use for smithing or you could turn into gold, uh, then please take a look at one of my other videos that will tell you. Mm, okay. What is over here? Portal vessel. So you've got to fill it. It's got blood in it. No blood. Blood. No blood. <laughs> blood. No blood. How weird. Alright, let's go and talk to Serana. Any luck yet? You did? Let me see them. I only know what she told me. She had a theory about soul gems. That the souls inside of them don't just vanish when they're used. They end up in the soul cairn. The Soul Cairn is home to very powerful beings. Necromancers send them souls and receive powers of their own in return. My mother spent a lot of time trying to contact them directly, to travel to the Soul Cairn itself. That circle in the center of the room is definitely some type of portal. If I'm reading this right, there's a formula here that should give us safe passage into the Soul Cairn. A handful of Soul Gem shards, some finely ground bone meal, a good bit of purified void salts. Oh, damn it. We're also going to need a sample of her blood, which, if we could get that, we wouldn't even be trying to do this in the first place. Hmm, not bad. We better hope that's good enough. Mistakes with these kind of portals can be gruesome. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get started. Oh, definitely. Mother would have plenty of those materials in her laboratory. We just need to find them. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.